Hey everyone. Hi, happy Monday. Welcome to Adobe Live. My name is Annika and I'm your host today. I'm really excited because it's Equinox. Wait, is that how you say it? I think that's how you say it. It is Equinox. That means spring is right around the corner, 5 to 24 Eastern time today. So I am excited to create some spring theme posts with you all. And if you don't know about Adobe Express, you're missing out. Today, we're going to dive into Adobe Express and create some really cool spring theme posts for your social media, to send it to your friends, whatever you want, we have it here in Adobe Express. And I'm going to use the Adobe Express iOS app to create a remixable template as well. So we're going to do both of that. So let's dive into and showcase what is Adobe Express to you all. And um, don't forget, if you're watching this on YouTube and on Behance, don't forget to say hi. I am looking at chat. And if you have any questions, make sure to drop them in there. Um, there are also friends in there that I'm going to say hi to, but let's see what Adobe Express is before that. So um, Adobe Express is essentially, you can go to adobe.com slash express or express.adobe.com and see this is the landing page and we have a lot of things going on here. Um, but not to overwhelm you at all, there's this plus icon here and there's a ton of things that you can do with it. But we're going to start with just a simple Instagram post because that's a square format that we have. And we don't have to care about any of the dimensions because that's already in here within Adobe Express. So let's click on it and dive into it. I want to say hi to it while this is loading. Hi to the chat while this is loading. Hey, Penny. Hey, Sam. Hey, Gareth. Oliver. All the friends in chat. Hello, hello. Welcome on in. All right. So we have this. And I feel like when we think about spring, we always think about floral elements. So why don't we go ahead and find something floral, right? I want to go to photos and see... Um, floral and see what comes up love it um brie in the chat general kenobi welcome 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 you all thank you for joining me all right so this is showing some really cool floral stuffs floral stuffs floral things but i usually like floral ar arrangements a lot so i want to make a spring theme post which is essentially um creating inviting people to learn from a tutorial on how to make floral arrangements um, I'm looking for like a floral photograph and this is all Adobe stock. So if you have an Adobe Express um, subscription, you can go in here. If it has like um, a crown icon, it is a premium I premium photograph, but it doesn't. It's a free photograph. So if you have an Adobe Express account, which is free, you can access the free photographs. For this particular example, I am going to use a free photograph just in case you don't have a premium subscription because I want to make it accessible for everyone who's using the application. So we have this photograph and I really like the colors. So I'm going to go ahead and maybe give it like a crop. So here's the crop tool um, and you can easily go in, change the shape. We have standard, we have ratios that you can choose. Maybe I choose like a square ratio. For this particular example, I'm going to go ahead and choose like a circular one. Um, Maybe something like this and I'm going to hit OK. Right here. OK. And then... We have this guy right here. I'm going to center it with the help of the grids that we have inbuilt within Adobe Express. And maybe I want to make some photo enhancements. And you can do that easily by applying, let's say, a filter. We have some effects right here. And we have enhancements and blur. I'm going to use filters and see what comes up. We have duotone, grayscale, darken, and we have matte. We have contrast. I actually quite like the matte version because it kind of gives that pastel floral vibe to it. But I also want to make some enhancements because I feel like over here, if I zoom in, I'm pressing Command plus plus on my keyboard, which is essentially Control plus plus if you're working on a Windows device. I see that it lacks some contrast, so I can actually go ahead, select this image again, turn on my contrast um, enhancement by toggling this button on, and maybe I want to increase. Maybe I want to increase. Um, the contrast a little bit actually decrease it yeah and then decrease the shadow a little bit as well yeah i think that's kind of doing it so if i turn it off it's subtle but it's doing the thing it's doing the thing okay that actually removed it <laughs> so i have to do it again no oh we have gus in the chat hey gus how's it going happy monday thank you so much for joining Penny in the chat is saying this lovely, lovely thing, which I totally agree with. And Penny says the most difficult part of using Express is deciding what to use it for because you can use it for everything. Um, <laughs> I, I guess that's what you meant. But we have this little post here and I'm going to center it around in this um, post in here and I'm going to add some text. So you have this text button right here and I'm going to click add your text. And it says double click to edit. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to say this is a tutorial and I'm going to prop it up on top. 
I am not choosing any font right now, but you have access to all the Adobe fonts within Adobe Express, so you don't need to worry about what we're going to do. So then the second thing is, what is this tutorial about? And this tutorial is about making floral arrangements because I love flowers and it is spring. So you can customize this at the end of the stream. I will actually share a bonus remixable template link with you all where you can go ahead and customize this according to whatever tutorial you are creating. Or even if you're not, you can just say, hey, you can put in your photograph within this circular shape and say, hey, this is the floral arrangement I made. So you don't necessarily have to use these stock photos in here. But if you don't have any photographs, you don't have to worry about it. Okay, love it. Um, Let's see if you have any questions in chat, just making sure. All right, cool. And the one thing that is super important whenever you're doing anything with any kind of post, which is on a social media network, you need to think about the call to action. So what I'm going to do next is give you, um, I'm going to duplicate this text right here and I'm going to bring it to the bottom. And then I'm going to make a fictitious website for now. So I'm going to call it www.floralarrangements.com because why not? And then maybe I'm going to size it down just like so. I'm going to use 24 and then I'm going to prop it to the center. I feel like this, look, look, this looks good, but I do want to make changes to the font here. Now, the simple way to do that is essentially going here and selecting the font that you have. I did go ahead and pick a font for myself for this particular tutorial, but I can show you how you can pick your fonts within Adobe Express. So you have all of these categories, which is all gotten from, which Adobe Express is getting from Adobe Fonts. And if you don't know what that is, you can go to fonts.adobe.com and find all the fonts that you'd like. So you can go to all fonts and you can filter it on the left-hand side. I'm only showcasing this. Oh, it's asking me to sign in. While we do that, all the filters on the left-hand side are similar to what we have in here as well. So you see brush pen, clean, calligraphic, geometric, friendly. All of this is similar to what we have within Adobe Express and not just similar, it's exactly getting the same information. So you don't need to worry about externally going to Adobe fonts and finding that information, right? So I'm going to choose maybe a calligraphic font, um, maybe something like this. Yeah, and it's so funny. That's actually the font I wanted to choose. Um, I really like the look and feel of this. I can zoom into my post if that is a little bit unclear. And this is how it looks. It has a very subtle, minimal, like calligraphic style to it when it's like uppercase. And I really love that. So I'm going to stick with that for now. And uh, maybe I want to use the same in here as well. Actually, let me let me jump and make that 75%. Yeah, and then maybe I want like a secondary text in here. So I want to use something like Degular, which is by Ono Typeco. And I really, really love this font as well. Degular is a really cool font family because I feel like there are so many font weights in here that I can use to create something. Okay, cool. And maybe I want this to be all in one line. You can expand it. You can make it smaller from this handle right here. And the last thing I'm going to do is change this to regular as well. So just for this example, I'm going to use this. Go to regular, regular, and use these two things. All right. And I think this looks really cool, but I want to add some dimension to this post in here as well. So I can go to the shapes panel and add whatever I want. I have some basic shapes in here, and I'm going to choose a rectangle. So I don't know what I'm doing with this right now, but I am going to add it to the background. So maybe this is the default color I have. And that drives me to the layers panel on the right. I can click on the layers panel, bring it below everything else. And we have this. Now, the thing here is that I don't really like this color. What do I do? I can go and color pick um, from right here. But that makes that makes that makes this weird kind of blurry illusion that this is part of the image, but it really isn't. But I want to keep it in the same font, um, sorry, color family. And I just want to decrease um, the saturation and increase the brightness. I can just drag this up here towards the left and maybe that's like a subtle color. It's there, but not really. You can see it if you know it. I don't know. I don't know. That's That's what I'm going for. It's subtle and minimal and I really like that look. If you want, you can certainly change the color, make it a little more, bit more saturated. But I feel like I feel like I like this. I like this look. Actually, increase it a little bit more, just like so. Yeah, yeah. I think I really, really love that. Now comes the fun part, and I really want to make this for everyone and share it with everyone, so you can make it your own. How do I do that? Now, within the Adobe Express, I'm gonna go to the home page here and show you how that's done. 
So within Adobe Express, you can actually actually let me create one more simple post before we do that because I want to showcase an example to you where you can share multiple pages within a, a template. Or if you just want to do share one page, you can use the app for it. So the first thing I'm going to do is name this file, and I'm going to say Spring Number One. And maybe I want to duplicate this. So I'm going to duplicate this project and just say Spring Number. Two right here. Okay, I'm gonna duplicate this, and now I'm gonna create a different, different word in here as well. Um, I see some more friends joining us in chat. Hey, Furgi, hi, welcome on in. Love it. Um, all right. So this is spring number two, I believe, and that's the duplicate we created. I'm gonna create another page within this document, and I'm gonna say duplicate page for now. And in this case, I'm gonna delete these files, um, delete the shape and the photograph. But I do wanna add another photograph in the background. Then, after, for doing that, I can go to the photos and maybe I write like floral arrangement this time. And this is a different example that you can use to showcase the same thing. So maybe I want, um, maybe this is a premium. Maybe I use a premium asset for this one. Actually, let me just use a free one. Let's see. Let's see. I'm going to try to find something that is usable for us. Uh, maybe I use this one. I'm not too sure about this, but we'll see how that looks. This has a lot of exposure, but we'll see if we can make it work. To overlay text on top. Now I'm going to bring it back. And I can either make it a background or just use it like so. Now, the problem with this is essentially that you cannot read the text. The text is not legible at all. And a simple example or something to counter that is creating like an overlay of a shape on top. And you can easily do that by going to the shapes panel. I'm going to go to browse and I'm going to click the rectangular shape just because I feel like a rounded rectangle really adds the necessary, um, I don't know, the fun blobby shape to it. So I'm going to center it and then I'm going to color pick the color from one of these shapes. Now, this is too green um, for what I'm going for. So I'm going to pick like a beige tone and then I can go in and decrease the opacity of this as well. So this is at 0% opacity and this is at maximum opacity right here. Love it. Okay. And then maybe I want to increase this just a little bit like so as well. So I'm going to bring it up here and actually let's bring it to a darker color. Yeah, I'm just going to choose like a blackish brown color. All right. Um, I do recommend Adobe Express. All right. So I'm going to bring it here. And now I bring the shape behind and the text is on top. But the text is not legible still, which means I need to change the color of this. Now, a good rule of thumb is to have a lot of contrast between your shape and your text. So I'm going to pick a white that we have here, which is kind of like the beige color we picked earlier. Adobe Express does a great job of having that content um, saved for you. So I'm going to do this and that says that's my current color palette. I'm going to center this text as well. And then I can bring this in here as well. So all of this is one place. And the post that you actually share can have the timing or the location. I can actually size that up because that seems a little bit illegible to me. But that's just two ways to make your own thing. Now, this does seem like the exposure on this is a lot. So maybe I want to decrease that. I'm going to just use a hack here, which is essentially putting a shape. You don't need to change any blend mode um, for the photograph itself. But I can prop a shape in here, which is like a color shape. Remember that color we picked initially? I'm going to use that as an overlay sort of a situation in here. And we have this. And I can change the blend mode. I can do it to a multiply. And we have like the subtle subtle warmth to it now and if i remove this this was a lot of exposure but if i bring it back it adds a little bit of warmth to it and obviously you can go ahead and tweak your settings all you'd like all right so now comes the fun part we're in the last almost 10 ish minutes of it and i want to go through this really really slowly so i want to showcase how you can make a remixable template and then show you how to remix it as well so we are on the web application, which is express.adobe.com if you're just joining me or watching this on replay. And this particular project has two pages, right? Say you're the creator and you wanted to share it with your audience and you wanted to share it with people so they could make something similar or be inspired by it. Also, while we are here, I want to change the coding on this guy because I feel like, um, I'm sorry, the leading because I feel like we need some, we need some space in here, some breathing room. All right, and over here as well, just making sure everything looks good. And now I want to share it with you all. So I'm going to hit the projects button and go in here 
and then I can see my latest projects, which is loading right now. But that's where you can make your template from. So this is a project I was working on. Remember, it has two pages. So I'm going to click these three buttons, um, the hamburger. No, not the hamburger, the three dots. I don't know what this is called, but similar to hamburger, but just dots. Um, and it says make a template, which is super cool because once I click on this, it is preparing the project file to make a template. I can say spring template number one. Actually, I'm going to call it two because it has two. Here are some remixable spring templates for you to share with your audience. And you can, sorry about the typos, you can share it with anyone for um, confirmation. You can share it for them to repost this. You can even share it in the form of a PDF file if you wanted to sell access to it on your third party store online, which is super cool as well. I love it. Um, Penny says lightning round. Yeah. <laughs> And you can share it to a library. So the cool thing about sharing it on the web app is that you can actually share it to a library. I'm just going to call it Spring Ri Library and call it Spring Library AL. And I'm just going to say save template. And it's going to save the template for me in the background. Now I can go to my libraries and see if, ha it, if it actually saved or not. Right. So this is the library and I can click on the library to see if there is a template. So we have a question in chat and I see Fergie saying, can we import or upload SVG files to Adobe Express? Thinking of how I can move my existing template out of templates out of Illustrator, XG, etc. So right now, I do not think that there is an ability to actually import SVG files, but I'm sure that's coming up soon. I know we have a user voice for Adobe Express. So if you have any requests, um, make sure to put those in. It does seem that the template did not save. So I'm going to try that one more time and see if that works for us. Okay. It is loading. Give it a second. I'm going to click make a template. And this time I'm just going to run through and select a library. Looks like it's having a hard time finding a library. One second. Oh, that is so weird. Okay. Here we go. I created a library, so I'm going to find my library again. What was it called? Was it called Spring? Let's see. Spring. Where are you? Spring. Hey, we go. And I'm going to click Save Template. Now, is it saving it? Is it doing its thing? I'm going to see. Give me a second. I'm going to go hit a new tab. And see if it actually saved. Okay, here we go. It took a while, but it saved. It saved it twice. So we have libraries. I went to the libraries panel and we have two templates now. It was just taking longer because it had multiple pages. So we have these two and I can go in here and share this with you all. Or if you wanted to share it with your client, you can do so as well. So we have the share button and this is going to share the library with you. So instead of just the template if you wanted some assets or some things like your brand logo or colors or anything that is available within adobe express or you created it elsewhere created a cc library or a create a cloud library for it and added those elements in you can share those as well and that's the benefit of using the desktop app so you can click here make public link and this is loading your link for you while it does that i'm happy to take any questions in chat so this is the link we have. I'm going to copy it and I'm going to post it in chat so you all can access that as well. So if you're watching this live or YouTube or Behance or watching this on replay, you will be able to access it. I'm going to open the same link here just so to showcase what you will see when you will see the remixable template. Since I'm already logged in, it is not asking me to log in. But if you have never logged into Adobe Express, it will give you a prompt to make an account or use an existing Adobe account. So use either of that. Use your Google account or your Adobe account to access the template and this is what it showcases me when i click on this it showcases me these two because i accidentally added two of these i can click on create from and that is going to recreate a copy of my template for you in your adobe express that was a mouthful but that's what it essentially does and if it prompts you for a sign in don't be afraid you can just click on the sign in or um create a new account, right? So it has both of these. It has tutorial and also the second page. And this is where you can change your photograph. 
So for instance, if I wanted to replace this image with something else, for instance, I wanted this. I don't know if I really do, but let's say I did. That's how you can easily do that. That really messed my um, design. But um, with that said, I want to show you how you can do this on your phone application as well. So while I switch to my phone right here, I want um, to open this to chat and ask you all to ask any questions to me. All right. Give me a second while I switch to my phone screen in a second over here. Let's see. Okay, we should be good and should be able to share my phone screen. Um, I'm going to go to Adobe Express and see what we have here. I'm going to refresh. Making sure we have the screen. All right. So you see that on top, we have these three projects that we created. And just in case I wanted to share just one page with my client or my audience, and I wanted you to showcase that, I can click on this example that I just created on the web app. It says my project still, but I can click on the edit button. And this is where I can share access to it. It's loading some Adobe fonts that I used. Um, I'm going to click on edit a copy for you right now because those fonts are not activated on my phone. But I can go in here on, I don't have to do anything here because I already created my design. I can go in here on the top right, we have the share options. So we have images, transparent images. I'm going to click on images and click share because I want the background as well. And it gives me multiple options. We have saving an image to the phone. We have shareable template, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, message, and copy link. You can even email it and there's more options in here as well. So with Adobe Express, you get these multiple options to share your file because all of these things are inbuilt within the app. I can click on Adobe, um, the shareable template button, and it is preparing my project for me. It's saying link copy to clipboard. And now I can go to my Safari website and click a new tab. I can click paste and go because that is essentially how it works. It is copied to the clipboard. And if I paste it in a browser, any browser, it can be Safari, Chrome, any browser you use. And this page pops up again, similar to the web version. If you don't have yourself signed into the application, no worries at all. It's going to prompt you, prompt you at the top where it says open for me. It's going to say download for you if you've never downloaded Adobe Express. But if you have and if you've used it before, it just says open, right? So this is what the link looks like for me when you make it from the iOS app. Right now, for phone variations, you can only create a remixable template as of today, which is March 20th, 2023. You can only make it from an iOS web app and not an Android device, but the team is working on it. But if you don't have that, you have the option of using the web app for the same. So this is similar to what it was online on the web app as well. But I click on Remix Design, a pop-up comes up and says open in Adobe Express. Once I click on open, it's going to create a copy for me. And this says remix this template. So I can go in here, click on remix this template and it pops up the same. I can go in here, replace the image. I can use Adobe stock photos and choose um, floral again and choose any photo I like. For um, instance, let's quickly choose something here maybe something like so because this is also a free element and remember the good thing about this is that i only used free elements in my design and you want to make sure that if you're sharing it with an audience you want to be accessible to everyone so make sure to pick just just the free elements so that everyone is able to access them even if they're not on the premium account right you don't need to have a premium account for this and there you go voila the thing changed everything changed and here we are with our live stream for today thank you so much for joining me here on adobe live my name is annika and i had so much fun um joining and having you all here today morning but um i will be back tomorrow morning with another spring theme adobe express stream at 8 30 a.m pacific time here on the Adobe Express YouTube channel. Thank you so much for joining me again. If you're watching this on replay, make sure to leave a comment if you have any questions or reach out to me on my Instagram account. Thank you so much again for joining me and I hope you create some remixable templates. Make sure to tag us on Instagram if you do and I will see you tomorrow.